All right, guys, just continuing down Athena Street, and uh, it's busy here, I can tell you. So this is one of the main areas where people buy uh, meat and poultry, uh, as well as the uh, massive queue for banks, uh, hardware and all that sort of stuff. So it's a busy street and then that leads down to Monastraki, which is like one of the major tourist hubs. So it's an interesting place. Very busy. But this makes up part of a place called the Golden Triangle. Now, Golden Triangle really is a triangle within the heart of Athens that sort of goes from Monastraki to Syntagma and then back down to Ammonia Square. So, that little square, or little triangle, sorry, uh, is some of the best real estate in Athens. Some of the best real estate in Greece. Would I buy it? Look, Greece went through a bit of a financial crisis a couple of years ago, and during that crisis they basically lost a lot of properties. People were liquidating properties just to pay the taxes. So you could buy a really cheap property at that point. And, uh, but the prices for property now are starting to increase. So I probably would not advise buying property in the heart of Athens anymore. Athens is hectic. And it's an international city in the truest sense of the word, but um, it's very hectic and not really conducive for a peaceful life, put it that way. But enjoyable living here. I enjoy living here. And we really enjoy our little unit that we uh, made last year. But would I invest in Athens? Uh, I, if I had my time again, I probably wouldn't. It just depends on the cost uh, for, um, it just depends on the cost per square meter that you're looking at. There are cheaper places to go, like we found a three bedroom apartment that was, uh, I think it was about 120 square meters. And that one was 67,000 euros. And um, it was a bit of a dilapidated dump, uh, really old school. But in saying that, it's not expensive to renovate things in Greece, in Europe as, as a whole, I suppose. Um, so really it's uh, quite a good opportunity to buy if you're happy to hold on to it for an extended period of time. Buying real estate here is not a short-term thing. If you buy real estate in Greece, be prepared to hold on to it for a couple of years because it's going to take you a couple of years to liquidate it more than likely. There are a lot of international buyers, but they're looking for the bargains. They're looking for good real estate, good location, and then they're wanting to be able to renovate for a cheap price and then liquidate that. And the other thing that's driving the property market in Athens or Greece is the Golden Visa. It's the cheapest permanent residency program in Europe. It literally just gives you capacity for um, to reside in Europe. It does not give you the capacity to work and earn in Europe. That's the thing that you're going to come up against. So you will want to basically decide on a visa program that's going to be appropriate for you. If you've got an online business then sure that's a good way to go. If you don't have an online business and you are required to work in a particular location or set up an office then it's not great. So keep that as a word of advice uh, when you're looking at relocating and you're looking at real estate, you want to, as I've said in previous videos, uh, and I think it was the previous video that I'd done on rational relocation, uh, 
being strategic about it. Just be mindful of what your overall strategy is when you're looking at real estate. You can get quite a good return on your real estate in regards to flipping business, uh, flipping property, but in actual investment for long term, you want to be prepared to hold on to that asset for an extended period of time just in case it doesn't move. So a lot of people are after the, the properties that are within the 250 euro, sorry, 250,000 euro mark because they can get the golden visa. Outside of that, you're gonna find it difficult to push or sell those, uh, those assets. And I have known quite a few people because there are developers that bought property and developed in Spain. Then they moved from Spain to Greece and then they move there. Well, they're in the process of moving to other locations around the world because the name of the game is actually buying below the traditional uh, market value for property and then basically selling that at an increased rate. And that's how you make big money. You see the global, uh, you see the global property market as your market, not just your domestic market. Problem is there's idiosyncrasies within every domestic market. You've got to learn that quickly. The good thing is, is that there is a bit of a uh, community of developers. Once you start going from one location to another of buying, renovating and selling properties, you start to realize that there's the same people in different locations doing the same stuff. It's the same thing here in Greece. Though I would suggest that the market um, is starting to find its equilibrium now and there's not as good a profit to be made. But still, if you're looking to relocate, you can get a really good property for that. You're better off going to some of the smaller regional uh, centers. There's heaps of different places around uh, Greece that are quite good if you're wanting a good lifestyle and you want to buy a good investment. So just take that as a uh, cautionary tale. Just uh, be cautious of what you're buying, where you're buying it, and uh, whether you're buying at value. Typically, historically, from 500 years of global data, we know that house prices should be three to four times the average yearly income within that domestic market. So just be cautious of that when you're looking at buying property, because if you spend too much, you're gonna do your dough real quickly. The name of the game is to liquidate. It's like banks. Banks do not wanna hold assets. Banks will always liquidate assets. And that's, start of, well, that's going to be part of the catastrophe that's going to be Australia in the near future when people can't pay the interest on their mortgages. The banks will foreclose and then you're going to have a property market with an absolute glut of properties. Exactly what you had in uh, Greece. To give you an, an example of where things are at in Greece at the moment, when the financial crisis hit, I think it was around 2014-15, people couldn't make the payments on their properties, so the banks seized the properties. It's only now that the banks are starting to liquidate those properties. For example, at the moment, one of the local banks in Greece is liquidating 2,500 properties and they're looking for a big hedge fund to come in and buy all those properties. There's two and a half thousand properties that'll be on the market. And at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be sold. Those properties will be sold to individuals. They will be sold to a hedge fund or an investment uh, grade asset. So yeah, anyway, keep that in mind when you looking at uh, buying property in Greece. Buy at fair market value, don't get ripped off. Uh, there's a website called uh, spigato.gr. 
I'll put the links in the um, video description. Uh, there's another one called uh, ex.gr or might be xe.gr, don't know. Anyway, I'll find it, I'll put it in the uh, video description so you can have a look. And the other interesting um, place to look for property in Greece is on Facebook Marketplace. So just be aware of that as well. But as I said, if you buy property in Greece, be prepared to hold on to it for an extended period of time. It will not be something that you'll be able to liquidate quickly. So be mindful of that. But for say 60, 70,000 euro, even 40,000 euro, you're gonna be able to pick up a, a bargain, particularly in more of the regional centers. It's gonna be a quieter life though, and you're going to have to be able to have an income stream that's generated from online to be able to operate because depending on what your strategy is, whether you've got PR through Golden Visa or you've got uh, residency through Digital Nomad, uh, you're going to have to formulate your relocation strategy based on that uh, visa requirement. So what those regional areas are, that's up to you. Do you like the mountains? Do you like the islands? Do you like the, um, the beaches? And uh, you know, you've got places like Lutraki, uh, which is actually quite nice. It's, a, it's near Corinth. Uh, which is about uh, an hour outside of Athens. And um, yeah, it's great. I, I like it, it's actually quite a nice area. So keep that in mind when you're looking at property. All right guys, hope you're having a great day. Any questions, just give me a, uh, a uh, message and I'll uh, try and help you out any way I can. If you want to speak to a real estate agent in Athens, I can certainly uh, point you in a few directions. There's some really good guys that, uh, that I know that work in the real estate industry. So uh, they'll give you a fairly good direction as to which way to go. All right, guys.